asks you to go to a meal, just be very careful <laughs> because you will walk out with, oh, maybe one, two, three years worth of work on your plate. <laughs> and, but Don has such a love for this community and he and I worked on a film project which was really laborious and wonderful, but all of that would have been lost if it hadn't been for Don because he really pushed for it and we were able to get grants and spend a lot of time editing and finding music and putting it all together, but it's a treasure for this community, and I think that it would not have happened if Don hadn't bought me a waffle, and at the same time, <laughs> strawberry, <laughs> strawberry so, so be very cautious if you're going to lunch with Don. <laughs> to Don's hair. <laughs> practically had his hand in every little thing that's happening in our community and, and I'm new to the community service kind of thing and um, I just appreciate if it weren't for Don I wouldn't be where I'm getting I wouldn't be involved in like the airport as much as I am now and the carousel project and I now I'm a rotary member and I don't even know what else I'm a part of. <laughs> and yeah. I told you yet. I yes, told you. <laughs> <laughs> but if it weren't for Don I, I wouldn't know the people I know and everybody and I just really appreciate the friendship. You are an important person in my life now and uh, thank you. Well you're a great, <laughs> a great asset to the community. Well, thank you. Do you see how well she conducted herself up there because three months ago she said Don I'm afraid to get up before a group and speak to him. <laughs> I thought she did a great job. I told her at that time and I said I'll work on that. <laughs> that's a great debut for you. That's how much I like you, Don. <laughs> I get it for you. <laughs> and are they going to start bringing cake around and we're going to wind up running out of time? So, whoever's designated for each table, if you'll go ahead and start uh, bringing cake around to everyone. Uh, I, I know Don from the fire district where he was a long-term 
longtime board member both in South Lane Rural and now in South Lane Fire and Rescue was there when we formed the district. Uh, thanks for that service, Don. Uh, Don's got perfect timing. He comes in when I need to get my eyes off my computer and he's good for a cup of coffee. And, so I always enjoy his, his company. Also on the rotary. Uh, yeah. I'm Paul Toko. I've known Don for, I don't really know. I'm sure he remembers exactly when he met me. I don't remember. Two and a half when I, years, Paul. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 25 miles a day and uh, everything. But it's been great. All I know is every time I meet with him, I'm on another committee. So <laughs> but, uh, it just keeps growing. So I'm one of the new ones to the harem, too. <laughs> Uh, I'm Tom Monroe, and I'm very glad that everybody is here because you've been lying to me. <laughs> I have. I, I wouldn't lie to the mayor. You are older than me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I met Don a, a few years ago, and there's one thing I learned about him. If I see him downtown, he'll say, hi, Tom, how are you? But if he walks up and says, oh, Mr. Mayor, there's another committee. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday. Thank you. Hi, I'm Natalie Inouye from Travel Lane County. I'm new to the Don Club. I mentioned Club. at the meeting. <laughs> it's because I said no to lunch. <laughs> huge, huge fan. You make things happen, and we so much love that about you. So thank you, and happy birthday. Thank you. I'm John. Um, I know of Don for a lot of years uh, because my better half is part of his hero. <laughs> and, uh, he's been super, super kind to her and her family. And so finally Don and I start talking about something in common. And of course, I'm recruited to one of his committees. And <laughs> I guess there's no looking back now. I'm <laughs> Chris Woodard. I'm working with a warehouser plant back in Elkins, South Carolina. I talked to them this morning, and um, I heard a rumor that they were looking for a good manager. <laughs> so I came down here thinking this was a send-off. <laughs> <laughs> no, all, all kidding aside, I, I'm going well on. I'm not sure how long. Uh, you stopped at my office a few times. And, a few times. And mm -hmm. We've had good conversations. We're both involved in the wood products industry. And, so we share some some uh, memories, and most memories, good ones are in the past. <coughs> when we had managers like you at Warehouse where you would talk to. Now, if I want to work with a cottage grow plant, I got to work with everybody up in uh, in, in Tacoma. Or, I guess it's Seattle now for the head office. So anyway, uh, uh, I respect you, Don, for what you do around the community, and I'm enjoying my time with you. So my best wishes to you. Thank you. So I met Don through my husband and numerous other things around town. And although in recent years, Don could single-handedly keep me in full-time consulting work, <laughs> um, I actually think of Don more as a social um, year friend. And he has had dinner in our house with us, and he held our kids when they were babies. They're now both taller than me, and was uh, there for some important moments in our life and some important moments in his life. And so, for me, it's much more of a getting roped into things, but um, much more of a dear connection, a personal connection, to just have a wonderful person um, that's part of our family. I am a a duel. We're dueling over you here. Um, I'm Heather Tucker. I probably I met Don maybe about five years ago or so, and it all started with food. He took me to the coffee cup for some breakfast. The next thing you know, I'm on the Rotary Club and being towed out to uh, visit uh, radio towers and you name it. But happy birthday, Don. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. I'm Tyson Woodard and I met Don through Rotary and our mutual love of, of guns. And he took me to a couple gun shows and uh, had a lot of fun. He even talked to me about uh, but a, a machine gun shoot where you go up and you spend money, you shoot machine guns. I'm like, really? I'm like, that's awesome. And so have, he has a video of him doing that, which is a lot of fun. So, um, and plus, I've just known Don through the Rotary and everything else. Yeah. Well, our little uh, third partner gets back from Belgium. We'll get Mark and we'll go to the machine gun show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you game? Take me, take me. Don, did you tell him the Army will let him do that for free? <laughs> <laughs> Grandfather 
told us that. Yeah, Corey would do it. Um, yeah, except for five. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll go to the next table. Meg. So 
know, so this is the epitome of a true Rotarian, is that Don and I formed this great relationship, you know, uh, because we both care about our community. We both really want to do what's best for Don, and I've learned a lot from Don. And, you know, last year I decided to do something foolish. I decided I wanted to be president of the Rotary Club. And I knew it would be a lot of work, but I had no clue how much work. And I, I could not have done it without Don's help. Don was my right-hand man. And so I guess I took a lesson from him, and I got him on my committee. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much, Don, and happy birthday.